This video is brought to you by Ren. This is a critical update on information that has just changed since the release of our last video. After years of silence from official sources regarding Stargate, it would seem the people currently in charge of our favorite science fiction franchise are not only aware that it's an asset, but are actively planning to do something with it. That's right, thanks to some insider sharing and some dot connecting, it would seem Amazon is actually preparing to make a big Stargate move. After fans have been patiently waiting for word on what the studio was planning to do with co-creator Brad Wright's Stargate pilot script, it now appears the Expanse creators Mark Fergus and Hawk Ostby are throwing their hats in the ring. Top that off with news that Stargate is being pulled off of Amazon after only a few months, and the picture is suddenly becoming more clear for the future of MGM's successful science fiction franchise. What exactly are insiders saying? And why is this really great news for fans who want new Stargate? We're going to break it all down because this new information is eye-opening. Don't need to we don't find a way out of this soon, I'm gonna lose it. So you don't want to miss this episode. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so now and give us a thumbs up if you want more honest pop culture like this. And make sure you stay tuned to the end to see how to get this awesome Stargate Tilk inspired graphic design from the amazing artists at MixTees.com. Indeed. It appears someone over at Amazon finally found the keys to the Stargate vehicle, because recent reports suggest that someone has turned on the ignition and our favorite science fiction franchise is warming up in the driveway. And this is great news because recent information that Amazon was running silent on Brad Wright's pilot script had longtime Stargate fans concerned, especially after Rings of Power bombed its first season under the direction of inexperienced showrunners. And while we're still not sure who will end up taking the helm of new Stargate at Amazon creatively, the names leaking out of Amazon give hope to science fiction fans who have high expectations for a new series. And it's not just potential showrunners that are getting our attention. Leadership at MGM is lining up in a way that would suggest Stargate might have friends in high places. But let's get back to that in a moment. I can get behind that. Among those creatives who've expressed interest in taking the reins of a new Stargate show are the Expanse creators Mark Fergus and Hawk Ostby, who have a strong relationship with the studio after Amazon picked up the Expanse from Sci-Fi Channel and continued for another successful three-season run. A special shout out to YouTuber Cytrek, who was the first to report about the Expanse showrunners among other topics, as well as reports from TV and marketing veteran Jenny Stiven, who appeared on an episode of the YouTube channel Dial the Gate on December 3rd. Stiven gave an illuminating State of the Gate report that not only answered several long-time unanswered questions about why Stargate was put on the back burner in the first place, but also what is currently happening with Stargate and Amazon behind the scenes now. Besides The Expanse, Stiven also mentions the boys' creative team as someone who would have interest in making Stargate. J.J. Abrams' Bad Robot has also been rumored, with Cytrek reporting that his sources believe the J.J.-led team is heavily favored to be doing the movie. No! God, please, no! 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 Stiven also shared that Amazon is currently heavily focused on science fiction, so when the studio reached out to the Expanse creators for something in the genre they would like to work on, their choice was Stargate. While this is by no means finalized and things can change moving forward, the important thing Stiven wanted to remind us is that there is finally a structure in place to start making decisions following the sale of MGM to Amazon last year. Cytrek's sources recently shared with him that Mark Fergus was expecting a $10 million per episode budget for a new series, but Amazon didn't want to pay that much considering the show would be airing on MGM+. More on Stargate and MGM in just a moment. What are you smiling at? According to Cytrek, Fergus would want $100 million to do 10 episodes of a new Stargate series, but Amazon was willing to only go up to $50 million. 
It was then reported Fergus wanted to wait until after the new year to continue talks about a new Stargate series, as he wasn't certain it was enough for his vision. Stiven said there were three ways Amazon can go about making new Stargate. Now that Amazon is committing $1 billion to theatrical releases per year, the first thing they could do is start with a Stargate film and then go into a series. The studio recently committed to making 8 to 10 films per year, and with Stargate starting out as a movie originally, it isn't a far reach to think they might catch lightning in a bottle twice. The second way is to start with a series and utilize the canon from the original TV show to explore the Stargate universe utilizing a variety of characters who may or may not align or be associated with original characters, but honors the universe that came before. Stiven said the third option is to start with a fresh cold reboot, perhaps throw a nod at Brad Wright and Roland Emmerich, and then move forward with something new that they want to do. Stiven explained that the third option is the least likely because Amazon won't want to cut out the fan base. They've already said they aren't going to throw out canon for Robocop or Legally Blonde, so chances are they won't for Stargate either. Stiven, who has more than 30 years in the industry, has heard that the studio wants to go with option one and start with a movie and then move into a series. So if it's not likely Amazon will do away with canon and start over from scratch, what was wrong with the pilot Brad Wright wrote? According According to Stiven, Wright's script seems to be a victim of timing. Back before the sale to Amazon, MGM was aggressively trying to churn out content and they reached out to Brad to create a script. It was appropriate to where MGM was at the time prior to the sale and prior to COVID. MGM loved it and banged the drum for it. But following the sale, the pilot script didn't fit with where Amazon was looking. Stiven heard that Amazon went to MGM about Wright's script and said we love Brad, his universe, and his ideas, but we are not thrilled with his script. Everyone at MGM loved it, but things changed. The variables with the world, MGM and Amazon were blown apart. It's a testament to how much Brad Wright is respected that they left him on the table for such a long time. Stiven doesn't believe he's gone, she just doesn't know what the equation looks like with Brad in it. Now there are new people in scripted television and there is a whole different setup. As much as every fan would love to have Brad Wright be a part of this, we all want new Stargate and it's possible the two things together may not add up. Hold on, uh, stop tape. Who does he think he is? Gracious as always, Wright tweeted following concerns Amazon wasn't moving on his script that he believes the franchise should return with or without him, and either way he looks forward to it. We're still of the opinion that Stargate can only benefit from having Brad Wright on the team, and hopefully Jen Salky, Chris Brereton, and Michael Wright will make that happen. The fans will say thank you. Stiven says both MGM and Amazon people say that Stargate is one of their top five IPs and the studio really wants to turn it into a tentpole franchise. So what is it about this new structure that gives Stiven so much confidence that Stargate will be given the attention it deserves? It actually goes back to before the sale of Amazon, when MGM was still trying to find a way to fight out of bankruptcy and get back on its feet. It was December 2015, and reality TV show pioneer Mark Burnett is named the president of MGM Television and Digital Group. According to Stiven, he also wasn't a fan of Stargate, and put up blockers to stop a new show from happening. Not able to say anything publicly until Burnett's recent departure, Stiven said Burnett and Nancy Tellum, who was head of the board at MGM, said Stargate is not where they should go. They didn't want to spend the money on their marquee science fiction franchise. Should we be surprised that a reality TV show guy didn't want to invest into science fiction? Probably not. And while it explains a lot about our Stargate frustration over the years, it's the people who threw their bodies and their jobs on the line in an attempt to make Stargate happen despite Burnett and Tellum. People like Michael Brown, Chris Ottinger, Chris Brereton, and Michael Wright. All Stargate fans who fought behind the scenes to make new Stargate, despite having leadership who didn't support it. And Stiven's excitement is that now some of these key people are playing pivotal roles over at Amazon, and she thinks that is only good for Stargate. With Stargate ally Brereton recently being assigned to oversee MGM's unscripted TV, the MGM Plus streaming service, as well as hold the role as VP of Corporate Strategy for Prime Video and Amazon Studios, he is in an excellent position to help usher in new Stargate. According to Stiven, Brereton has a history of working hand-in-hand -hand with creatives in charge of content. Longtime Stargate ally Ottinger, who is MGM's head of worldwide distribution and acquisition, was recently brought into the Amazon 
unfold. He, better than anyone else, understands the global status of Stargate fans, which aligns with Amazon's desire to reach a more global audience. And last but not least is Michael Wright, also a longtime Stargate ally inside of MGM and now the confirmed head of MGM+. Michael Wright is another person at a pivotal point to be able to help launch new Stargate on Amazon. Stiven said that Brereton, Ottinger, and Wright are reporting directly to those people that will make decisions on what content is going to be made, and their voices will be integral. She knows that all three of them supported Stargate when she was at MGM, and has heard that they still support it today. With MGM Plus launching January 15th, don't be surprised if decision makers have been asking themselves what content they can populate MGM Plus with fastest. And with that thought in mind, Stiven's predictions may already be in motion. It was recently announced that Stargate SG-1, Stargate Atlantis, and Stargate Universe are all leaving Amazon Prime as of December 30th. This surprise announcement shocked some fans who had just celebrated the triumphant return of the shows to Prime Video in the United States just two months ago. Would Amazon go through so much trouble finally making the shows available to just remove them again? Absolutely not. So what changed? We had already been hinting it as a possibility that MGM Plus would be looking for content, and since Stargate is an MGM property, it only makes sense to make it available there. The abrupt move is a good sign that a plan is in place that could very well bring the whole Stargate franchise, including new scripted content, under the MGM Plus umbrella. It should be a good sign that we are beginning to hear things come out of Amazon about a new Stargate show. But in an awkward move, only days after removing the shows, Amazon put an inferior version of Stargate SG-1 back up on Prime. Could this be a response to shaky news about Fergus and the price per episode of a new show, and that there could be a delay moving Stargate shows to MGM Plus, we'll have to see. And while nothing is confirmed and a lot may still change, the one thing that is certain is Stargate is a priority for Amazon, and we should start to hear more information leaking out on a new series in the next few months. As always, we'll be here to keep you up to date with all of the latest Stargate insider rumors and news. What do you think? What do you think? Will you be able to watch Stargate not made by Brad Wright? Do you think The Expanse writers can make a good Stargate show, or should it be someone else? Would you prefer to start with a movie, or should Stargate go straight into a series? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Also, support the channel and check out this incredible Stargate Tilt graphic design in our store. Get 20% off your purchase by using coupon code THEPOPCAST. The link is in the description below.